Hey dude, what you working on? Uh, I'm trying to finish this language for this fantasy novel I'm writing. You know, like Dothraki from Game of Thrones or uh, Klingon from Star Trek? Well, I'm gonna call mine Chinese. I have a ton of other dialects planned, but mainly people are only gonna know about two of them, which are Mandarin and Cantonese, and even they won't be able to talk to each other. Okay, so tell me more about your new language. Okay, so first of all, I decided that learning to speak, read, and write this language will barely be related to each other. What the heck do you mean? Well, you know how like in English we have 26 symbols and they all have their own sounds and you can kind of like mash them together in different variations and they make their own words? For the most part, you can kind of read even if you don't know what you're saying. Yeah? Like for reading, I made a different picture symbol for every single word and there's no rhyme or reason to a shape and what sound it makes. Also, sometimes you can mash the pictures together and it'll make a new word and you have to kind of guess what sound it makes, but you'd be wrong. What? I don't get it. Okay, so for example, I made this character, which means person, yun, and this character, which means one. Yep. So if I mash those together, what do you think I would get? What sound would this make? Yunt? No, you're wrong, it's thigh, which means big. Well, you're a big yunt. So the number one and person make big? Yeah, because it looks like a dude with his arms stretched out. At least that's what I'm going to tell children to help them learn it faster because this shit is impossible. Uh, this sounds crazy. How is anyone going to learn this? How many of these symbols did you make? Well, I'm up to 50,000 now, but you could probably communicate with like a thousand of them. What the heck? Why would you make so many if a thousand would do? You know, I just wanted to be thorough. Okay, so tell me about the speaking then. Aha, now that's the super fun part. Every word is gonna have multiple tones and you can say the same sound in a different way and it'll mean completely the wrong thing even if you're slightly off. Wait, why would you do that? Well, I basically wanted to make like a secret club and every time we talk to each other it's like deciphering a puzzle. It's fun when it's super hard for outsiders to learn. You can trash talk in front of their faces. Wait, so how many tones do you have? Well, Mandarin's gonna have four, but if you're looking to have a bit of extra fun, Cantonese is gonna have nine, which is more than most people who speak the language can remember. Dude, that sounds insane. What would that even sound like? Go 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 which means that guy is taller than that guy. Okay, well you just picked a ridiculous example. It can't all sound crazy. Like, what about that spider web on a stick? How do you say that? I added some flair. You are a psychopath. Okay, maybe it will make more sense if you teach me a little bit more. Okay, teach me something useful. Like, how do I say I'm hungry? Okay. Tongo. Tongo. No. Tongo. Tongo. No, that's wrong. You're saying it wrong. What the heck am I saying? It sounds exactly the same. Tongo. 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 Saying you have diarrhea. Why would you make those two things sound so similar? I don't know, it just worked out that way. Okay, well, ooh, look, a dog. How do I say that? Go. Go. You said old. Go. That means save. Go. That means enough. Go. Hey, that one was pretty good, except out of context, that also means nine, and you wouldn't be able to tell unless I wrote it down. Wait, you mean go and go or dog and nine? Uh, actually, no. The second time you said it, you said dick instead. Actually, in this language, it's pretty easy to say something rude or inappropriate. For example, the word for yes and the C word are pretty similar. Say yes. Hi. Say cut. Hi. Oh my god, this is nuts. Wait, you haven't even explained how the writing works yet. Do I just draw the symbols however I want? Well, not exactly. I know I called them pictures, but you have to draw each of the strokes in the exact order I want, in the exact direction that I want. The order of the strokes is also not intuitive, so basically in order to learn them, you have to write it out again and again and again, like a thousand times before it sticks, and then you might forget them if you don't write them out for a while. Why don't you go die in a fire? You'll see, you're gonna appreciate this. Hundreds of millions of people are gonna speak these languages. Just you wait.
Hey, what's up? It's Elaine. And I hope you never have to learn Chinese, but uh, looks like China's taking over the world. Anyway, if you like that, push the thumb thing. And uh, hit the subscribe button, cause uh, I wanna get to 100 subscribers. Bitch.